Welcome back to High Stakes Ford Adventure Edition. In this video, we're only eating what the waiter recommends because we are sheep. <laughs> and are incapable of original thought. Come with us as we try seafood, vegan, and anything else that the waiter recommends. And if we don't, then we get a slap on the bum. Did we agree to the slap on the bum? We don't get a slap on the bum, but it's still gonna be a good video. We'll see you there. Ciao. First location is a pulpo restaurant. Uh, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, pulpo, means octopus. Uh, so I think their specialty is octopus. They had four or five different versions and then a range of other tapas. I asked the waiter, what's the best one? He gave me two recommendations. One is the Galician style, which you can see in my other video here about all the best things we ate on the island. Uh, apart from that, he recommended another one, which had a moyo sauce or a mojo sauce. It was a amarillo, which is yellow, uh, which was quite unusual to me. Most of them are either red or green. So I jumped at the chance to try it. Like the Galician style octopus, it was sliced thin, served on boiled potatoes, but then it was sprinkled with sauce. It gets three out of five yum yums. Now, dear YouTube family, we were almost lured into a place that was advertising Michelin food. However, we're not so silly. It was actually for the hotel. So we went right past that place to another tapas place that was also quite well rated. I said to my waiter, what should I get? The waitress and the waiter both recommended the cob bites as well as fried cheese. Now the fried cheese you see on the menus all over the island, it's a bit like a Greek halloumi. The cod bites, they were quite crispy, very crunchy. I was convinced that they must be using a squid ink in the batter because you can see through that exterior shell that there's some black running through it. We quizzed the waiter on it. He didn't really know what we were talking about. So I actually have no idea that what this was made of. I do know that it was very crunchy, very well salted, and the cod was nice and fresh. Uh, definitely a good try. The cheese was wonderful. Probably a bit rich for one person, but obviously couldn't share it with Steph. Um, it also gets three out of five yum yums. So for me, same place. And I also asked the waiter, what is your best vegan option on the menu? And then he had such a big surprise because it wasn't even on the menu. So it was a vegetable gyoza, homemade, very fresh, crispy bottom, perfectly steamed, homemade dough, bit yellow. I'm not sure what that was, but great, yummy, yummy, yummy dumplings. Three for me. Third and final recommendation from the waiter. I got two dishes because I can't help myself. The first was a very affordable ceviche. It was done with white fish. And when it came out, there was two types of corn on the plate. Uh, the fish was fantastic. It was tender. It had been marinated in the lime juice for just long enough to have a great taste and mouthfeel. There was some salt and sugar in the curing liquid. So it was very sweet. It was really well balanced. Fantastic recommendation from the waiter and that really needed that corn, which was sort of par grilled. There was fresh corn and grilled corn to give it a smokiness, a crunch, and then some pumpkin. This one gets four out of five yummy yummies. My next dish was, I'm gonna call them beef cigars because it looked like slow cooked beef tucked inside phyllo pastry, deep fried, and then served on a plate with a lovely mustard sauce. I'm pretty sure it's like any beef stew. It's done with a mirepoix, which is carrot, onions, and celery. A couple of bay leaves. No one knows what they do, but there was bay leaves in there, and you get a pull-apart tender beef stew. Now, that's a bit plain, so they spiced it up with the phyllo pastry. I really liked it. It's also getting four yummy yummies. What did you think looked the best? Let us know. Let us Compared to the other place, this place had so many vegan options that I was in desperate need of help. So, of course, I asked the waiter what to do he recommended me the vegan eggplant parmesan and i'm so happy i chose that because i got to try a really nice smooth and creamy vegan cheese as you can see in the footage the cheese pool is insane three out of five yummy yummy yummies again a main 
Um, same thing, recommendation asked. There is a lot of mains on the menu. I went for the Noki and I must say it was very, very similar to the, to the starter. The reason why it was so similar is because it had exactly the same tomato sauce, the same cheese. The only difference was the Noki itself. Yeah, the main flavor palette was the same as the starter. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content and a special shout out, a special thanks to all the waiters on the island that gave us great recommendations. We might come back for more recommendations. See you next time.